come in again. Here we are. It's fall now. You can see how much time passed since I did the first video. But now we're going to go up to the second floor and do the second floor. So come on over and show the way up the steps. Okay, there we go. That's the second floor. Okay, we'll be up there soon. Okay, thank you. Now we have, okay, now we've come upstairs and uh, this is over here. We love the birds. Bob loves the birds. And uh, we love pictures of the ocean and natural things. We try to walk on the sunshine, in the sunshine. This was a piece we got to. I really liked it and wanted to just hang it here. Uh, it was kind of a perfect thing. I'll give you a glimpse at our linen closet. Uh, we have enough things here for, um, I guess, four or five people to stay with us. And uh, this was from Carla and Terry had given us this picture. Where did you find this under the bed? Okay, Bob had found this picture under the bed. And here's the Assateague Lighthouse. I took that picture and that came out really well. And that's over on the uh, refuge, the National Wildlife Refuge. And then Bob really liked the shipping, the fishing boats actually. Bob really liked the fishing boats here. So we had some pictures of them. Lady Carolyn, our nieces named Carolyn. And I think is uh, Toots in there? Maybe not, we'll be adding Toots somewhere. Well, we continue our journey through the house. You are on the second floor outside porch that opens right off of our bedroom. And uh, many people here in the development have enclosed the porch. Ours is still open with the screening, which we like better. We thought about closing it, but we're happy with the screening. And I'm happy to say Bob really replaced the screening and painted this inside now. Uh, you can hear the birds. I'll be quiet for a minute because uh, it's very nice up here and very, uh, very secluded. We have to get taller chairs because this is so high we can't see over them. I like that. Every cloud has a silver lining, uh, which they do. And it's a very warm, muggy day here. Thank you, birds. You talk and I talk. I guess we're having a chorus. Welcome to our bedroom. Over at 3709 Main, when we were renting there, I had put up a lot of things about our past. But when I moved here, we moved here, I said to Bob I wanted it to be about our future. Uh, you'll notice over here, one of the first things we bought for the house was this sculpture of the uh, herons, uh, egrets, the whole family um, of birds that uh, really dominate this area. And uh, that was because it reminded me of my mother. When we were down here in um, July of 2017, we're coming up on her uh, three year anniversary, uh, I saw a heron take off from a uh, very high perch on a tree and it made me think that my mother really just wanted to be free. And that's what she was trying to do in her last days, really, at the home. And uh, I just added a little piece here. A friend of mine had told me about this, Donna. I know you'll watch this. When you see a cardinal, um, it is a visitor from heaven. And we saw one just the other day, too, in the uh, backyard. So this came here. And um, faith is very important to me, too. And I tried to be a very positive person all my life. So I wanted to put more positive things into our bedroom. My mother gave us this love is patient, love is kind. And uh, I added choose joy because everything we have is a choice. This is really like the uh, beach room. Uh, the previous owners were kind enough to leave us the furniture here, which blends in very well. Um, You'll see a lot of subtle sh shades of paint here, but um, that's how we wanted it to be, and Bob really likes green. So this is our beach room in a way. Uh, we have a lot of the beachy things over here, and uh, we love the beach and the water. Uh, some of my treasured books. This wall we're working on, um, 
But I have to live. I want to share with you. I was never a person that had seasonal linens or anything like this. But what we do have is a uh, seasonal comforter. This is our summer comforter. And then we have a winter comforter. We really don't have a whole lot because this space is really, it's perfect for us. But as far as storage goes, uh, there's really great storage, but we don't like to keep a, a whole lot of things. And I only keep really what we use. So thank you, Bob. This is my side of the room. So there's a lot of uh, faith-based things here. And that's very important to me. Um, I'd like to point out that uh, Rita's friend, Sister Geraldine Whitman, who passed last year, two years ago, uh, her mother did this. This is uh, the little flower. Now I'm a Cardinal Doherty girl, but I have a little flower up there and I look at her every morning. And this is one of my favorite quotes from Micah. This is what Yahweh wants of you and only this, to act justly, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with your God. And, of course, we have faith, hope, and love. The greatest of these is being love. One of the things that uh, Rita had made for me, really, these two things. Uh, one was for my birthday, and this one I really liked is from Rilke. And toward all that is unsolved in your heart. Be patient. Try to love the questions. Do not seek the answers, which cannot be given. You would not be able to live them. Live everything. Live the questions now. You will then gradually, without noticing it, live into the answers some distant, some distant day. So we don't need to know everything now. Take it a day at a time. And many saints have said that too. So here um, is our master bath, which we never had before. And I have really decorated almost every possible space but I have a ways to go. This is really kind of my haven a little bit. Um, this is our stall shower, and uh, this is Bob and I. This is our place. Our bedroom is really just for us and to celebrate us. And um, a lot of the pictures that you see, uh, we have taken. Uh, this was the latest one I put up because something else was knocked off. Drop anchor with the one you love. And I just came across that saying, a bathroom is made for singing. And it really is. I start the day with uh, music. I listen to a YouTube playlist every morning. And um, so, um, here too, I like this. You call me out upon the waters. I see that in the mornings. And I like to try to do something that I haven't done before that is... Maybe a little riskier than what I'd like to do, but that's where the Lord calls us, to be in those spaces. Did you get our little turtle and crab? I have a wonderful cameraman here. <laughs> He's so good. He'll do anything I ask him to do. Um, so thank you. This is our guest bathroom. This I call like the tropical room. Uh, I love this color of the paint, and uh, I wanted it to, you know, feel a little bigger, and um, we took these pictures. There's a blue heron in flight, and of course the ponies and these famous love chairs from Chincoteague. And uh, I really like the shower curtain, too. The shower curtain kind of set the theme a little bit. It was like postcards. And... Uh, so I really like this. We're blessed here. We have a powder room on the first floor, and then we have two full bathrooms on the second floor. So for a relatively small townhouse, we, we're really lucky. Now here's another favorite refuge, since we're talking of refuges. Uh, this is our combination home office and guest room. Um, on this wall, we have dedicated this to the ponies. And there's other beachy things. Uh, everything I kind of liked was uh, coastal. And this right here is actually a cabinet bed. This unfolds to a full-size queen bed when people are staying with us. We bought an extra mattress for it. Uh, didn't really need it, but we wanted our guests to really be comfortable. 
And then this is where Bob and I work. So I'm going to let you guess who works where. I think you'll be able to figure that out. And uh, we redesigned this a little bit. Bob was here first. I think eventually we're going to do built-in shelves from Ikea to give more space in the room. But I love this poster, and it's down at the Refuge Inn, the motel down there. Shinkati, not just a one-horse town. And then uh, over here, this is the picture Carl and Terry Davis. And these postcards here, um, I was telling you about July of 2017 when we came down to visit. My mother was still at uh, St. John Newman Nursing Home. I mailed her two postcards a day. And uh, she kept them all together, the staff and the family. Uh, kept them together so that when she passed, going through her things, I found them again. And written on the back is every message that I wrote for the day. So I thought I'd like to hang them up because they're all about Chincoteague. Little did I know then that in uh, two more years, we'd be living here. Bob and I are still surprised and will always be, I'm sure, until the day we die. And uh, But there's nice closet space over here. And it's pretty neat, so I can show you. There's nice space here in this closet. The mattress, we're able to fold up and uh, store away. And our supplies are here uh, as well. And some people have moved in and left some of their things. Like dear sister Rita, who's a little closer to us. She's two hours away as opposed to family, who is more like uh, three, three and a half hours away. And um, over here were a lot of magnets we collected over the years. And um, this was Peggy's Cove up in Nova Scotia. I love Nova Scotia. When we took a trip to Nova Scotia, I was pregnant with uh, Jimmy in the early, uh, early weeks of uh, our pregnancy. So I'll show behind here, we got a mirror and um, hooks everywhere. So, well, that's the second floor. You have seen everything. You might want to take a view out the back window. If the trees weren't there, you could almost see the, um, the lighthouse is over in that direction. But uh, there's a lot of trees and things in the way, but you might be able to see it. But this house really gets a lot of light, which is why uh, we really liked it. I liked it from the moment I walked in. I knew it would be ours. We're going downstairs now. And as we do on the left, that's going to be a family tree wall. Back to our great grandparents and all of our siblings and their children. But however we have met, however we have touched each other's lives, Bob and I both want you to know that we loved you then, love you still, always have, always will. Thank you for watching, and the last picture is Bob and I at the Shinkatee Museum, where Misty is there, who made this island famous, Misty of Shinkatee. That's a good movie, too. Okay, take good care and stay well.